what do you get if you cross a Tesla and a classic camper van? Possibly the future of classic cars. My name's Kit Lacey and welcome to EW Services. So this is a 1971 VW camper van, a T2, or known as an early bay. Uh, bay because of the full bay windscreen as opposed to the splitties with the split windscreens that came before it. Um, it's a beautiful vehicle uh, and it's one of our favourites, something that we specialise in converting. So we had a customer come to us and say, we want this converting to electric, but more than that, we want the best range possible. So that's what we did. So inside this camper van, we've installed the innards from a Tesla 75. That's right, a 75 kilowatt hour battery. And we've managed to incorporate it subtly here underneath the rear seat, which was existing before, and also into these beautiful bespoke cabinets on the front made by our local cabinet maker, Edward Daniel. And so by the common eye, you look at it and don't realize that there's anything unusual about it. And that's exactly what we wanted to create. This looks like a normal camper van until you hear it or until you see it move, because it moves with Tesla systems installed. So as I said, we have a Tesla 75 uh, uh, size battery in here. And what that means is that we're able to drive somewhere around the 200 mile mark, depending on driving conditions and driving style, which is absolutely perfect um, for this type of market, for these type of campers, and gives them a future they can look forward to. So the classic camper is all about space. I don't know if you've realized, but actually bumper to bumper, front to back, this is the same size as a Nissan Leaf. It's a bit crazy. But obviously because of the shape of it, you have to use every single square inch to its maximum capacity. So in here are our custom cabinets. Um, we have right at the far end a lift up top there for a really decent sized fridge, which when you're driving is powering itself from the DC-DC converter from the main battery pack and then keeps things really nice and cool. We've also got a water container at the bottom and a pump on the top. We've managed to incorporate a bit of a wine rack there, you know, just in case. You've got a drawer and a couple more drawers here for storage. And then one of my favourite features, we've got this shelf here, which means when it's a lovely day like today, you could even move this um, stove unit down to the shelf or use this area for prep and stay in the great outdoors. So also in this camper, we've got a full width rock and roll bed, not the three quarter, full width. So tons of space for sleeping, but also just for chilling on an evening. And we've also got in here a bit more storage up along the top. This is quite a large popped up space on this one. So when it's popped up, you've got loads of space inside to be standing up full height. Personally, I hate the ones without pop tops because you're on your knees the whole time. Love having this full pop top. Bit of storage up there. You also got this beautiful shelf storage all the way around the outside. Just a little place where you can put nicks and knacks, bits of food, bits of crisps, anything else you need to grab. Really, really well done in this little space. So with a large battery pack, you're going to need some rapid charging. So we've integrated Shadow rapid charging into this vehicle. So stopping at a rapid charger, filling up, easy peasy. Another benefit of using a Tesla drive unit in this means that in where the engine used to be, you've now got a boot. So let's talk about the cab. You've got the gorgeous original steering wheel still here. We've replaced the throttle pedal with a digital throttle pedal because the original pedals were pretty unreliable, but obviously it didn't matter much in the original, which had maximum 40 horsepower. It was kind of on or off. Whereas in ours, you've got somewhere around 130, 140 horsepower. So you need to have that precise control. So we've used a digital pedal here as a replacement and it looks beautiful. Obviously no clutch, no gear stick. It's fully automatic drive or single speed drive. And we cut the original gear stick too. Also along the front, we've tried to retain all of the originality of this. So uh, the speedo is still the same. We kind of kept the fuel gauge just as a reminder of the history of this vehicle. But we've designed a custom state of charge gauge here as well, which looks like the original. Absolutely beautiful, but displays how much percent you've got left in the battery. Other bits and pieces are pretty familiar. So we've got our uh, lights, we've got um, fog lights, we've got windscreen wipers, we've got hazard lights. This little switch here is forwards, backwards, so forwards and reverse and neutrals. So that's how you control your speed. We've also installed heated windscreens to this vehicle. So when heat is such a, a commodity in electric vehicles, we try and reduce space heating as much as possible. In this vehicle, it's an element windscreen and rear. That's right, front and rear. So this little switch here powers both of those on. So in bad weather, when it's misty or icy, that sorts you out absolutely perfectly. 
So also in this conversion, we've installed a really classic DAB stereo. You have an option when doing a conversion, either going for something quite modern, something that shows you a lot of stats, a lot of information, uh, a lot of tools and things of how the uh, batteries are performing. Um, but for this particular conversion, they went for classic. So this is a classic looking, but quite a modern stereo system that uses DAB uh, as well as Bluetooth uh, and causes a really great sound. Also in the front here is pretty minimal, which is completely intentional. Between the seats here, you've got a bit of a storage space, which I love to incorporate, and also where the gas is stored for the cooker as well. But all in all, this space is really utilized to those you know, longer journeys. You've got the space, you've got the commodities, you've got everything you need. So there you have it. A Tesla powered T2 camper with 200 miles of range. Also with the ability to charge simply from the campsite. Just plug in as you normally would and you'll recharge your while you sleep. This for us at EW Services is perfection for classic vehicles. So if you've got a project in mind, if you want even something like uh, this beautiful vehicle, then why not get in touch?